what is happening guys welcome back to another sun and moon wi-fi battle we are getting into it again uh, with some twitter challenges and i am pretty excited about this we're using the same team as i was in the previous video i would really like toxicity to get some usage that is kind of uh, gonna be my goal here so hopefully we can get that boy doing some damage so we're gonna select the team uh, this is the squad it seemed to be working out pretty great for me so far so we're gonna choose you it is currently the only competitive team I've got, so we are going to practice up with this bad boy and see if uh, see if we can get it to work again. So, Also, I changed my guy to the Depressed Doctor um, just because I feel like he instills fear <laughs> in the enemies. All right, so let's check out this man's team. He's going to be working with a... Uh, ooh, okay, okay. So the Ferrothorn, probably the lead. Then he's got the Grim Snarl. We're going from the bottom up. Chandelure, which is an interesting one. A Darmanitan. We see a Como O, uh, which is again another Pokemon I haven't seen yet. And then he's got this pointy little bastard. So. <laughs> Maybe we could get. To, I mean, Toxicity does pretty great against that. I mean, with the choice specs, we're able to hit pretty damn hard on almost everything. So. Um, I'm expecting him to probably lead with the. With the Pharaoh Thorns, to be honest. I don't really know if I want to go with the old emo boy again. Our dedicated lead, if he does decide to go for the Pharaoh Thorn, um, it's not the best for us. I might go Darmanitan, but then again, if he leads with his own Darmanitan, we're going to have a speed tie, and that's going to be bad. So, let's actually go with Barney. I'm going to lead off with Toxtricity. Uh, we are invested in HP and special attack, so we should be bulky enough to take some hits. That was kind of the idea there. This thing has not the best natural speed. It doesn't seem to outspeed much. So, going with a bulky set. We're going to see how that works out for us. This is our boy Jack. And uh, I'm excited to see how this is going to go. So, he's got the coma. Oh, we need to kind of save. Uh, Darmanitan is going to be good for that. Also, Ditto is always nice to have in the old back pocket. So, he is actually just going to lead off with his Arctic Monkey. And that is definitely going to be a Darmanitan. So, this is a bad matchup for us. Uh, if he just goes for the U or the Earthquake, we are going to die because we are absolutely allergic to ground moves. So, not the best start for us here as it is very hard to switch into a Galarian Darmanitan. It's one of the most difficult things to do in this freaking game because it's got that built-in choice band. So, I might just go... Man, I, I think I might have to go ahead and sack somebody here. Or at least... If I bring in Troll and he locks himself into Earthquake, we could maybe scout out what this thing wants to go for. It doesn't seem like we're all that useful here. Um, let's bring let's bring in the Grim Snarl. I'm just going to try to make some quick moves here. I'm assuming he's going to Earthquake. He might just go for the U-turn, which case that's going to do a decent amount of damage to us. Um, but we should be able to at least scout. Yeah, he's going to go for the U-turn. So we're able to scout out what... Se oh my Jesus, that is definitely a Choice Banded Darmanitan. So we're going to go ahead and... Take note of that. That is extremely scary. But that is also kind of good news because that tells us that our Darmanitan should be able to outspeed and we can just kill that thing with a Flare Blitz. So now he has to switch into a Grim Snarl, um, which is not the easiest thing to do. He can't bring in the Chandelure. Uh, he could bring in the Ferrothorn to just try to start setting up these the, the hazards as he's actually going to go into the Coma O. Um, so... I'm assuming this thing is just going to go ahead and just knock us directly out. We can't really risk this thing starting to set up or anything. I'm going to click Spirit Break just because uh, Grim Snarl has taken way too much damage at this point. That U-turn just about obliterated your boy. Sweet Jesus. What the hell are they feeding that thing? Darmanitan is definitely one of the most difficult mons to play around in this game. But it uh, I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway. Old DJ here is actually going to go for a Klangorus, Klangorus Soul, um, which is going to try to set up on us. And we're not really too worried about things setting up early game against us, um, because I do have the Ditto, so we should be good. Also, the Spirit Break is going to knock your ass out, so <laughs> Grim Snarl is able to get the KO. Um, Kama O hates Fairy Moves because you are a Fighting Dragon, so you're not going to be able to set up today. Maybe he didn't think I was going to be able to come with the, the Spirit Break, or he expected to switch. Either way, we get the Coma O out of the way. And now he has to decide what he wants to switch into. I'm assuming Chandelure could likely come in. But the, even then, he's going to have to take a Sucker Punch. 
So maybe Darmanitan just comes in and finishes us off. Which hopefully he finishes us with an Earthquake. Or if he decides to stay in, that'll be great because I could bring in... Um, I could either, even bring in my own Ditto or I could bring Darmanitan on my own. But he's actually going to go into the Ferrothorn. Um, so this thing is... I'm going to say it's probably going to set up Hazards. Or it's going to go for the... Um, it might go for the Gyro Ball. So let's go ahead and switch into Barney. I just kind of want... Yeah, that's actually... That's not that's not the best for us. I was just, just kidding. We don't we don't have much to hit that. I really wish Barney got access to freaking Overheat or something, man. That would be fantastic. We could go into the Fruit Roll-Up, um, which might not be a bad idea. It seems like we could actually set up against this team. The Darmanitan is the biggest threat, though, especially since that, thing, that thing's banded. But if we can get some Coils up, that might not be bad. Or we could just go into Emo. I think we're going to bring in... I'm going to play it safe here. We're going to bring in the... Excadrill, because I can set up the Stealth Rock of my own, which is going to limit that Darmanitan switching in. Um, it also hurts the Chandelure. And we're able to get this thing in before it sets up hazards if it decides to. But it's just going to Gyro Ball. So either way, uh, Emo is a safe option for us. That actually does a lot of damage. Damn. Well, we are just going to go ahead and click Stealth Rock here. Because there's really no reason... No reason for us not to. So... So far, we've knocked out the Como and the Grim Snarl. So those are two big threats out of the way. He's still got that Choice Band of Darmanitan. He's actually just going to stay in here as we set up our Stealth Rock. I don't think he's going to want to set up his own hazards against me because I do have access to the Rapid Spin. So he goes for the knockoff, which is fine. He's going to get rid of my Focus Sash, but that really doesn't matter because that thing was already broken anyway. So now at this point, we're basically free uh, to go ahead and just get some, uh, some damage off on us. I'm just kidding, we haven't knocked out the Grimmsnarl. I know that I actually mentioned that, but we only knocked out the Kamo. -oh. I was thinking about my own Grimmsnarl, just kidding. My Grimmsnarl is not looking too hot, but we do still have some pretty hard hitting Sucker Punches, which could help us out, especially against the Chandelure. Um, so, he sets up the Leech Seed, which is unfortunate. But it really shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'm kind of. I'm wondering if I should switch this thing out. I don't know. It would be useful against his Grim Snarl, so I do think I do want to switch here. Uh, we could bring Fruit Roll up in, and we could kind of just scare this thing out. Um, hmm. What to do? Yeah, let's bring let's bring in Fruit Roll up. Let's see what he's gonna do. Right, maybe just a Power Whip. Either way, we come in with our heavy duty boots. We don't have to worry about any hazards even though they weren't up yet he does set up the stealth rock um which is fine so we basically were able to get this thing in for free i don't think i want to start setting up because he does still just have that darmanitan and it is just it is just a freaking beast man he's also he does still have his toxapex which is annoying um which kind of stops fruit roll up in its tracks i'm just gonna click fire lash here it's probably going to force him to go into that Toxapex, or we predict the switch into the Toxapex and we go into Barney. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's double switch. We're going to expect him to bring in the Toxapex because it's kind of the only answer uh, that he can bring in to this thing. I mean, he does still have the Chandelure, but we're going to bring in this boy just to hope that he decides to go into the Toxapex here. So let's see if the prediction game is on point today. He's going to stay in a knockoff. What? All right. Well, definitely did not expect that. That was, this thing basically was free to get set up on. So, um, that's, that is a bummer. We don't have much that we can hit this thing with. Um, I could just Dynamax and Overdrive this thing to see how much it's going to do. But we're just going to, let's just click Volt Switch here. And at least get some Specs damage off. So the Volt Switch is not going to do much. But, now we can decide to just go back into... The fruit roll up. Since we said, since we saw that he's kind of reluctant to switch into that Toxapex, man, I really thought that was an easy read for us, but apparently not. And now we're right back where we started. He's gonna get up the Leech Seed. This thing probably has Protect. So far, we've seen Jarabaw, Earthquake Leech Seed, and I'm assuming either Protect or Power Whip. But he's got them leftovers over there. He is gonna also get some health back from the damn Leech Seed. And but it's all right though, because Fruit Roll Up is about to pop off on him. We're just gonna go for a Fire Lash. Just gonna play it safe. I would like to have got a little bit more momentum there. Uh, trying, trying to get that Toxapex to come in. But at least we do still have an answer to that with our Toxtricity. Better destroy that Toxapex. Hopefully. 
We gotta keep that thing around. So, just gonna go for the Fire Lash as he's now, watch, now he's gonna bring in the Toxapex. Brings in Alcatraz, and <laughs> he does. So, not sure if that was entirely intentional. He was like expecting me to expect the switch, and now this time he knows I'm not gonna expect it, so that is a real bummer. But we do get the defense drop on this thing, which is great. Um, Toxapex is likely just gonna go ahead and scald us. We do still have that Leech Seed, so he's gonna get some damn health back, uh, which is a bummer. So, now it is time to essentially switch out. We don't want this Leech Seed on us, and I really can't bring in Barney because we took too much damage from that damn knockoff, which was completely uncalled for. So, I've got ourselves into not the best position here. I might just sack off Troll. Um, I can't bring in Snowfu. Earthquake, I think, would kill if I was Choice Bandit, but it's not going to quite be able to do enough. Man, so he's definitely going to Scald here, I'm going to assume. Let's just bring in... You know, maybe we could just bring in Emo. I kind of want to save Troll for this Sucker Punch. Let's bring in... We're bringing in the Echadrill. It is time. He's just going to finish us with a Scald. But that's fine, because then we have a free switch in. And then we can go into the Toxtricity, so... This thing is going to... Yep, just finish us with a Scald. So, Stranger Things monster sprays some water on me, and we're dead. So, now we get a free switch in to whatever we want. Toxapex is chilling at full health. And I'm assuming... Hmm... We could go Snowfu. No, because then he could switch into Chandelure on the Flare Blitz. I think we're just going to go Barney. We're just going to click Volt Switch. Um, he's probably going to switch into that Ferrothorn, which is a bummer, but then we'll at least be able to get a matchup against it. The Stealth Rock is really just kind of annoying at this point, but let's just go ahead and click Volt Switch here, which I think we have to do because if he stays in, oh my god, he does stay in. This man is unpredictable. The Volt Switch is at least able to do over half to this thing, which is nice. Uh, but now he's probably going to just go for another Scald here. Which is not good. Not good at all. Really did not expect him to stay in there. I could have just killed it with an Overdrive. We're no longer predicting in this game. It, it's, it's not happening. It's just not working out for us. Well, he might even just recover... This is not good. I could bring in Snowfu who could take a Scald and then we can finish it with an Earthquake, hopefully. But taking a Scald is risky because we run the risk of getting burnt. So we got 30 seconds left. There's really nothing I can switch into here. This, to this Toxapex is a damn threat. I really should have just played it safe and gone for the Overdrive, but just still, just trying to get momentum, it's, it's just not happening for us. So we bring in the Darmanitan. Take a whole bunch from the Stealth Rock, or the Stealth Rock, and yeah, now he's going to go for the Scald. So the Hot Water... Uh, we are able to take that. Please do not burn me, sir. Okay, God, thank God he does not burn us. So, Darmanitan comes in, and we're safe. For now, at least. So now I'm just going to click Earthquake. There is really no reason not to. So, yep, we just click EQ here. Um, and we're able to see how much this built-in choice band is going to help us out with our Guerrilla Tactics ability. So, boy, should I have just clicked Overdrive. It would just would have just put us in such a bad position had he switched into his Ferrothorn, so... It turned out to be a bad play on my end that I think was worth the risk. Because if I got the Volt Switch against the Ferrothorn, I would have had a lot of momentum bring it, being able to bring in... Back in Fruit Roll-Up against that thing, so... We basically need to make sure that we keep Darmanitan or... Scorch around. We are able to get the Earthquake off on the Toxapex. It's gonna knock that thing out. Toxapex is still around and still being annoying, but it's fine. Because we've taken care of it. So... He is down to the Ferrothorn, the Chandelure, uh, the Darmanitan, which we know is Choice Banded, and his Grimmsnarl. So the Grimmsnarl can come in, uh, it can Sucker Punch. We're locked into Earthquake at this point, unless we decide to Dynamax, which it's looking like it might have to happen, because we would like to be able to switch moves here. If he brings in... Actually, if he brings in his Darmanitan and we Dynamax, we lose our Speed Boost from the Choice Scarf, so that would actually run us uh, to a Speed Tie, and I'm actually... I'm actually adamant. Okay, he's going to go into the Stress Ball. So, this is, I think, warranted for us to be able to click Dynamax here. And now we can go for the Max Flare. So, we no longer decide we want to be held down by the damn Choice Scarf. So, we're just going to go ahead and Dyna. And this Flare Blitz is going to do an insane amount of damage. Luckily, we still get the attack boost from the ability, but we just don't get the speed. Um, and if he decides to bring in his own Darmanitan, and his turns out to be a plus speed nature, uh, he will be able to outspeed us because I am adamant. 
I generally try to run Adamant if I'm going with a Choice Scarf Mon, but in the case of Galarian Darmanitan, it's, it definitely could be risky. Just because you do end up going up against yourself quite a bit. But we are able to take care of the Ferrothorn, so the Ferrothorn and the Toxapex are dead, and that is two very bulky boys that are dead now. So um, we do still have an answer to his Galarian Darmanitan, and that's going to be our Ditto. So I think we're in a pretty good position here. He's going to bring in Sweet Tooth which is going to be the chandelier so interesting uh, he just brings in the sweet tooth this thing is probably scarfed I'm gonna assume if it's chandelier is pretty often uh, just choice scarfed we are just gonna click max quake here and we're gonna at least be able to see what this thing's gonna do yep it's gonna be a choice scarf chandelier gets the flamethrower off which is a bummer because uh, that allows us allows it to outspeed us but we do know that this thing is locked into Flamethrower at this point. And that's actually kind of good for us. Well, we could go into Fruit Roll-Up and I could get up a free coil. But would I be able to live an attack from his Darmanitan is the question. I could just go into my own Ditto here, but then again, he does have the Grimmsnarl to switch into. So let's bring in the Fruit Roll-Up. And we're actually just going to click Fire Lash. It's going to be able to do a decent amount in the sun if he brings in the Darmanitan, hoping that I coil. He could still, he could still Dynamax. We're just going to go... Yeah, we're just going to go for the Fire Lash. Because if this thing stays in, he has to go for Flamethrower. We have... We actually could both have access to Flash Fire. If we're both Flash Fire, that's going to be hilarious. But actually, he does switch out. He's going to bring in the Grimmsnarl, I'm going to assume. Yep. There is the Ozzy. Oh, so this thing comes in, takes a little bit of that Stealth Rock damage, and... The Fire Lash is, ooh, just about going to be able to knock this thing out. Um, I do not want to take any unnecessary damage on Fruit Roll-Up, so I believe I'm going to go into Troll. It's not worth going into Ditto just because that thing could hit us with um, a Spirit Break. So we're going to bring in our own Troll. This thing's probably going to knock us out, but we'll be able to bring in a Revenge Switch, so... We should be in a pretty good position here. He actually sucker punches. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna sucker punch your sucker punch, sir. <laughs> Just to see uh, what he decides to do. He cannot bring this thing in on Stealth Rock anymore, so his Grim Snarl is good as dead. Uh, we do get our sucker punch off first, and that's gonna be a dead Grim Snarl. Nice. So that was perfect because that means what we were slower that we were able to get our sucker punch off and activate it as an actual move. Because even if he did click sucker punch, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the slower goes first. So that's actually great. We're able to knock that thing out. Now he's going to bring back in um, the Sweet Tooth. And we know that this thing is Choice Scarf. And we know that you likely... Was this thing... Is this thing Choice Scarf? I'm honestly... Hold up. I got to start getting back into the swing of my speed tiers, man. Because it's been a while since I've done too much competitive stuff. So... Uh, 145 is what this thing is working with naturally if it's a plus speed nature at level 50. So if we take a look at our Dar Darmanitan, uh, we actually are 147. So it's definitely, that means it's Choice Scarf. So now we can just click Sucker Punch. I do believe. Yep, we get the Sucker Punch off. Grim Snarl coming through for us, able to take care of the Chandelier. Um, it is actually going to get the Flame Body though, which is kind of unfortunate, but I do think that we've got this in the bag because I do still have uh, Choice Band Ditto who can come in, copy the Darmanitan when it comes in, which is his last Pokemon, and then we can just outspeed and use his own Flare Blitz against him if he's got Flare Blitz, which we're going to really hope he does. <laughs> so in comes the Arctic Monkey who hasn't taken any damage quite yet. Really just kind of been in the back of the team messing, messing with us in the head, but Grim Snarl is just so reliable with the sucker punch and the black glasses boost we are able to get so much damage on our dark moves it is insane so we're just gonna go ahead and click sucker punch because there's really no reason not to as he's actually just gonna dine it here um, so he does activate that late game dynamax which doesn't really matter it is gonna be able to um, it might allow it to take take some hits here i don't think it should after that stealth rock damage and then we're gonna get a little bit from the sucker punch i'm assuming ditto flare blitz should be able to knock this thing out i really hope it wasn't a okay we're able to knock it to nearly half it's gonna go for a max quake here 
is the late game Dynamax gonna be able to save this man? We're actually down to nearly 20 minutes in this battle, so it's gonna it's gonna come right down to it. Cause that special defense, which is fine. And now we go ahead and bring in our own Ditto because that's really all we can do at this point. We can copy you, and we can just click Flare Blitz. So, Ditto hopefully can come in and save the day for us. Well, we are just going to go ahead and click his own Flare Blitz. And we essentially just see what happens here. Yep, Ditto breaks through. We are able to go first. The Flare Blitz is going to be able to knock it out. And that is going to be the end of the game right at the 20 minute mark, which is <laughs> insane that we were actually able to finish that. So, that was a super close match. Um, if I didn't have the Ditto in the back for that, like, <laughs> that insane revenge sweep or revenge kill, that could have been really bad for us. So, we're going to finish that one up 3 0. But that was a super good battle. And uh, I definitely had a lot of fun with that one. You're going to receive your league card. Thank you so much for the battle, man. And also, thank you guys very much for watching. I had a fantastic time. That was that was super close. Some misplays on my end, but it was able to work out for us in the end. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. And as always, leave some comments because I love seeing your guys' comments. And it really helps out the channel. So, I will see you guys later. Peace out.